I think I still have the spring in my step. But on the whole, I'm probably not walking too differently from what I did before. I'm going to ask you to walk at your usual pace, just as if you were walking down the street to the store. Are you ready? Begin. For 73-year-old Janice Fields and 92-year-old Edward Gurjoy, taking this short walk may speak volumes to physicians when it comes to helping assess their longevity. The reason that there's a relationship between walking speed and longevity is because your walking speed is a very simple reflection of how well many of your body's systems are doing. Dr. Stephanie Studensky from the University of Pittsburgh and co-authors evaluated data from almost 35,000 adults aged 65 and older participating in nine of the largest ongoing aging studies in the U.S. and worldwide. Baseline walking speed was analyzed along with a variety of other health factors and participants were followed up to 20 years. In every population, no matter how old they were, uh, what sex they were, what kind of health conditions they had, that there was a strong relationship between walking speed and survival. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association, and provides tables and figures estimating the probability of surviving another 10 years and also the median years of remaining life. We can look at your age and go up to your walking speed, and this says you're going to be around for another 20 years. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> your median life expectancy about eight years. Eight years? I'll make um, it just 200. You're going to make it? Well, um, that's just the median. I know. Oh, yes, you might I beat know. that. This kind of information might be useful and valuable to the healthcare system, to doctors, families, and patients and giving them uh, a sense of um, their own uh, vitality and longevity. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.